Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Asiba and this is Asiba Space. Well, as you read from the title of this video, this is going to be a pregnancy announcement. Yes, so I am currently pregnant with baby number five. I am 20 weeks as of uh, today, 20 weeks in two days, and we are super excited. It wasn't a planned pregnancy, but we weren't trying not to get pregnant, so we're excited nevertheless. So this being my fifth and final pregnancy, I decided I really wanted to document and take as many photos and videos as possible and even share it on my YouTube channel. So here we are. So like I said, this is baby number five and I am kind of in the middle of my second trimester. So I wanted to share some of the symptoms that I've been experiencing since the beginning and just kind of talk about how things have been going thus far. So I found out at around four to five weeks that I was pregnant. That was when I first kind of got the feeling that, okay, I may need to take a test. Um, like I said, we weren't actively trying not to become pregnant. So around four weeks, I believe, I noticed my first symptom, which was exhaustion. They call it pregnancy fatigue, but for me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was exhausted. I have four other kids and I'm used to getting up early and making their breakfast, dropping them off to school, all the things that moms do. And all of a sudden I was too exhausted. Of course, I still did what I needed to do, but by the afternoon I needed a nap. And that's not typical of me. Um, we have a pretty consistent schedule. And when I wasn't able to do regular day-to-day -day tasks without needing a nap, I knew something was up. I would just be standing at the sink, washing dishes, and all of a sudden just feel the need to really get a nap, go sit down, take a break, that sort of thing. So that was my first clue. Um, after that, I usually get kind of a, it's not a breakout, but kind of a, uh, a flare up, I guess, um, of dark spots around my face in the first trimester and sure enough that appeared that was pretty much a no-brainer you're definitely pregnant for me because it happens every single time um, but not only that my clothes were really tight around the waist and I hadn't done anything different so those two things made me really think okay it's time to take a test um, and find out if in fact you are pregnant so I did take the test the next morning and sure enough it was positive and I told my husband about it that afternoon. And I will <laughs> insert a clip of my husband's reaction. He's such a goofball, so here's that. Hey, before you go, can you go look at something on the sink? What's this? <laughs> what is that? What is this? Well, it's my law song. It's mine. That's from the meat. <laughs> What's it say? Hmm? No, I can't even, I can't even pronounce that. Mm -hmm. Baby number five is coming. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? You about to be driving a minivan. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, my husband was semi-surprised and we were just like, wow, all right, so we're doing this. Um, so that was really early on. Those three things really let me know like, okay, something's different. You need to go take a test. Um, so the next symptoms that I noticed were nausea. Nausea happens for me every time. I don't get it as bad as a lot of women, thankfully. I never actually vomit, but I get motion sickness, I guess I should call it. Um, when I wake up in the morning, obviously before I've eaten anything, I feel nauseous right away and it's really hard to choose something that sounds good, something that sounds appealing and isn't going to make me feel sick um, because of course I had food aversions. I don't know if any of you ladies have experienced that, but your favorite foods all of a sudden sound disgusting to you and you think if you put them in your mouth that they're not going to stay in for very long. Um, for me, the main thing was coffee. I always start my mornings with coffee. I've never been able to give up coffee, but every time I get pregnant, the desire for coffee completely disappears and I can't stand even the smell of it. So 
Uh, first trimester, I did not have any coffee. As a matter of fact, I just started back drinking it a week or two ago. So that was a major thing. Um, I mentioned fatigue. I was taking naps every single day. Heartburn. I get insane heartburn when I'm pregnant. I get it from the first trimester all the way through to the end. Um, and I'm still dealing with it right now. Um, I have a few natural remedies that I like to use to help me deal with that. But heartburn is pretty intense for me no matter what kind of diet I'm following, no matter how often I'm eating or how much I space my foods out, I always deal with heartburn. Um, back along the lines of nausea, I have um, motion sickness pretty bad. So in the car, if I'm anywhere other than in the driver's seat, I'm going to be nauseous. I took a trip to Utah last month and on the flight over there, I was sick. <laughs> I was pretty nauseous the entire flight. Same with the flight back. Fortunately, they were both direct flights, so I didn't have to jump on several different planes and the uh, nausea didn't last all day. But for each of those flights, I was pretty sick. Um, not only that, but we took a road trip, about seven or eight hour road trip last month. And that too had me really experiencing that uh, motion sickness that I deal with so much. But at this point, I'm just so used to it because I've dealt with it for every pregnancy. And it's just something that goes from the beginning to the very end of every pregnancy, at least for me. Um, what else have I dealt with? As far as emotions, I don't really get overly emotional like a lot of women do. Um, my mood pretty much stays the same. I do feel myself pretty irritable, which is unfortunate because I have children already and you really want to be patient with your kids, but honestly, it's, it's really difficult um, when you're exhausted you don't feel great and your kids are mommy, mommy, mommy. It's just one of those things that I've dealt with. I think it's pretty typical for pregnant women. Um, oh, not only that, but this being my fifth pregnancy, I started to show almost right away. So in the past, I've been able to wear my uh, pre-pregnancy clothes for at least half of my pregnancy. With my first, I never wore maternity clothes. I was able to wear my clothes all the way through and lost all the weight immediately after. But with baby number five, my clothes did not fit. <laughs> I didn't even make it to my second trimester with my clothes fitting. I definitely got a boost of energy in the second trimester. Um, so I've been able to do daily tasks and things like I used to before becoming pregnant. Um, I still get the occasional nap just because of, and because of how large I am, it is pretty uncomfortable sleeping in the bed. I actually just ordered a pregnancy pillow that I'm really excited about and hopefully that will help because not sleeping through the night is no fun, especially when baby's not even here yet. So like I said, I am 20 weeks and we just found out the gender of the baby uh, two days ago and I am so super excited. I have two boys and two girls, so this is the tiebreaker, and it's my final pregnancy, like I said before, so I'm really going to go all out as much as possible. We plan to do somewhat of a gender reveal, um, kind of make a production of it, which we've never done before, um, so I'm really looking forward to that, just for the sake of memories, and if that's something you guys are interested in um, watching, I'd love to share that here as well so I can look back on the memories and the feelings and everything that goes along with that moment when we share with our friends and family. Um, so that pretty much does it for this video. Like I said, um, I plan to document this pregnancy the whole rest of the journey. So um, if that's something you're interested in following along with, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload new videos. I plan to do at least one a week. If something big happens, maybe I can upload twice a week, but at least once a week to just kind of update with everything that's going on with the pregnancy and with baby and how we're feeling and how everything's progressing. If you are pregnant, share with me down below. What has your pregnancy been like? If you've had children in the past, what sort of symptoms have you experienced? 
Do you enjoy pregnancy? Is it difficult for you? Let me know. I'd love to start a conversation going uh, in the comments section. So that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.